A surfer has suffered a back injury after a collision in the surf. Your f***ing rules, yeah. Oh, mate, there's a guy sitting oh, in the you're right. I know if someone's committed for a while, we'll get the f*** out of the way. Hey, mate, At least duck under water. another one. The man who ran over him appears to be leaving. Suddenly, there's trouble in the lineup. Everyone's, everyone's kind of panicking. Whippet and Yatesy head down. They're all holding someone up. I'm down on the water's edge. There's this many people waving their boards and going, man, there's someone unconscious. Whippet gets more information from a nearby surfer. It's the first deep water spinal injury lifeguards have treated. Gonzo, you come down with a thing, I'll jump on the back and bring the spinal board with you. With it, find surfers holding a man afloat. <laughs> He's conscious, but no feeling in his feet is an alarming sign. If the man has suffered a spinal injury, he needs to be immobilised to prevent it getting worse. Thanks, Smiles in the surf, turning there. The challenge is to secure the spinal board in the water, then bring the patient to shore. You know, it's definitely, it's tough, you know, it's still three, four foot today, and if you're out there with, you know, with a guy who's got a spinal injury and you get cleaned up by a four foot wave, it's, it's gonna be bad news. Lifeguards try to establish what happened. The male was just going across the wave and sort of hit a bump and just <laughs> landed straight on the dude's back. Uh. Eyewitness accounts focus on this Malibu rider, Morgan. There was a bloke out there, this bloke on the mail, who it's said so he's, just, he's just taken off yeah. of everything. The longboard is just like basically paddles yeah. into the set wave. Yeah. Just no, the, the, deck. the mail rider assists with the rescue. Lifeguards attach the spinal board underwater. But where to bring him in? Go ahead. Hey, we're going to take him down north corner at 100 feet. Yeah, copy, mate. The north corner is calmer, but packed with families and junior lifesavers. The north corner is way busy. If I was you guys on the jet ski, I'd probably bring him straight in. North corner is out of control up there. Hey, we got on the shore too. So if you want to bring him straight in, it's heavy, heavy, heavy. So you and Harry's are OK to uh, assist there in the water, are you? Yeah. Oh, we've got enough hands down here for sure. You got that jet ski. You're good to go. I'll try and steer you in. That set that you're about to pop over now doesn't look like there's too much behind it. Lifeguards fear that broken vertebra could be pressing against the man's spinal cord. Troy must prevent waves crashing into the patient from behind. A wrong move could cause paralysis. They must move him before the next wave hits. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. Uh, stay there. Stay there. Uh, one in the front. Big one, two, three, up. Yeah. Excellent. Stay down there. It's oh. 10 minutes since the accident happened. Finally. Some good news. He's got full feeling in arms and legs. Good. But he's just been hit by a board enough to snap the fin out. Oh. The board. Maybe I want you to just relax your head, OK? You're all good. We know it's a lower back. We don't want to move your head, OK, because that moves the spine as well. We'll give you a little bit of pain relief, mate, OK, to get rid of the pain. Around here? Right there in the kidney area. Oh, here we go, mate. The green whistle will relieve the intense pain in his lower back. It's going to taste a little bit ordinary to start off with. OK, but it'll take away the pain, all right? Carlos, 24, is on a working holiday. Whereabouts are you from, Carlos? Brazil. Brazil? Brazil. Right. Can you just push up my hands? 
Yeah, and the other way. Okay, good job, buddy. As paramedics arrive, witnesses begin pointing the finger of blame. You don't, you don't turn I, around and take off and mow people I down. know that. There's another bloke I got another version off and he said I was in the right. What can you do? Mate, your you version, his version. No, you, mate, you don't, you don't take off like that. That was just stupid. I'm okay, sorry, according to your rules, yeah. Well, mate, there's a guy sitting there that you're right. I know if someone's committed for a wave, I'll get out of the way. Hey, mate, At least duck under water. There's another one. What do you think he was doing? Do you think he wanted to get hurt? Come on, mate. Hey, listen, fair enough, mate. I didn't mean to do that, did I? Oh, well, that's what I'm just saying. Come you on. shouldn't be doing it. No shit. The trouble is, they just don't know what they're doing. Okay, mate. We got it. Let's go. Morgan helps out by taking Carlos's board to the tower. That's my man. Oh, right. I was trying to back. Really? It's unbelievable. But then, Harry's sees him leaving the beach. I should go and say to him, yeah. mate. Get his I'm hanging around here for the ambulance. Just, Sorry, mate. I oh, know. Just I will hang around. Don't, don't worry. leave, please. I'm not leaving. He's broken his pelvis for sure. Is it? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm hanging yeah. around. Don't worry. Oh, okay. And it's just unavoidable. What happened was, I was on the outside catching the uh, set waves. I got a left hander going from the bottom turn, and this guy honestly could not get out of the way. And I, I seriously ran over his back. And. He didn't move. The left it was an accident. Right? What do you do? It's just a battlefield, you know? <laughs> How's the, how bad's the pain? Is that your favourite wetsuit? Uh, I'm going to have to cut it. That's all. <laughs> all right, colour. Paramedics cut open his $400 wetsuit to administer morphine. Carlos works as a personal trainer. Um, I'll get a work ball. At this point, his future is very uncertain. You get a massive board or a massive fin across you like that, and you're out of work for six months. Well, it's one in front of the guy, man. One in front, he's sorry. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what the f you mean? It's all right, mate. It's all right. Are you down here with anyone? Yeah, my friend was with me. In the water? Yeah, in the water. Okay. Two, three. Nice and slow. Who's mate? Carlos's friend Aaron finally arrives. He's just arrived in Australia this morning. Do you want to come with us? You come with us. Yeah. He was in some serious pain. Oh, yeah, he was in a lot of pain. Eh? As soon as we tried to get him on the ski or on the board or whatever, just so much pain. He was screaming, poor guy. He was so upset. Morgan, the mal rider, sees Carlos off. There are no winners after an incident like this. What was the blow up with the other guy? We yeah, said, proper said, blow up. It's my way. Like, it was a set way. Yeah, well, I was, was, was going. He said, well, they shouldn't be in the way. <gasps> it's like, well, there's 300 people out here. It's Bondi. Matt D is treating a woman who is vomiting. He's concerned this is much more serious than a simple case of dehydration. Please, do you want someone want to swing over with the deep in, please? Yeah, copy. Coming now. I've just given her water, and as soon as she took water on, she went. Lifeguards find some medical tags and learn the woman is from Norway, and her name is Christina. Hello, are you there? Christina, are you all right? I'm going to put you back on the oxygen, Christina. More serious medical expertise is needed. Fortunately, paramedic Norm is still at the beach, following the resuscitation just minutes earlier. Now, if anybody else collapses on this beach, <laughs> don't call me, because I'll be the next Norm. victim. <laughs> Open your eyes, sweetheart. Good girl. I'm Norm, OK? The ambos call me Uncle Norm, so I'll look after you as well, OK? You just relax. Well, mate, she's got patch on her. She's got a patch. A patch of some kind. Right. Okay, leave it in place. And it's got this to it. Okay. It could be an injury. It's that not one of those at all. Could be a halter to monitor as well. She had a monitor attached to her hip, and we found dog tags, but none of us knew what it was. The woman's condition is identified on her medical tags. This praxia, you one on me. 
we asked Norm what dyspraxia was and he had no idea. So we were all stumped at that stage. What we do with things like this, we treat what we see. So we've got airway, we've got breathing, we've got circulation. There's no hurry for anything else and all the other stuff we can find out relevancies later. It's like it was all kind of bizarre. It's like this lady had some serious uh, medical conditions. Oh, you're right. Here she is, Christina. You look a lot more alert. How you feeling? You're, good there, You're in good hands, Christina. Everything's going to be fine, right? More paramedics arrive. The objective is to get Christina to hospital immediately. Very weird situation. Very tough one to diagnose for anyone. I'd probably have to do about 15 years of study if I want to start fixing dyspraxia or whatever it is. One, two, three. Up, don't tread in the vomit. I already have eight times. In just 30 minutes, lifeguards have faced two emergencies back to back. Big day. These guys, they just perform every time, so with my input. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, they do a great job, so it's good work. You know, like having Norm there is amazing for us because we do a lot of training with the paramedics and everything comes into play. Every little incident we do with him, we learn from it and we're treating every, every patient with, you know, pretty much critical life-saving techniques that we've learned. Christina has made a full recovery and today has come to thank the lifeguards. Are you OK? Yes. Yeah. Are you? The outcome was that I had an allergic reaction. I have had that before from a spider in Denmark. Yeah. Sometimes, for me, it's also something, if I feel pain, I don't do the same as others, so I can go days before I actually recognise that something has happened. And the boy said you did quite a good spew. Uh, let me say I normally don't pew in public, and pew are normally not allowed. I lock the door, do it by myself. Yeah. Adding to this already curious situation, Dino and Christina actually know each other. She's a friend of mine on social media. That morning, I took Christina for a stand-up paddle lesson, and she was just so wrapped. She was over the moon. To come to Bondi was sort of one of her dreams. You never think someone looking so good in the morning, and then all of a sudden, she's unconscious, at lush, vomit everywhere, just looking terrible. Well, absolute legend. Living with that must be so tough. I have so much respect for her. Just getting by day to day must be intense.